us to today's episode. So in the next series of episodes, we are going to focus on this paper extensively, which is the November 2022 Biology Paper 2. If you are joining me for the first time, please check out for our YouTube channel. We have so much content. We have covered extensively the mathematics papers, sciences, and also English. And now we are also doing biology extensively. Let us move straight into the paper. So let us look at question one from section A, which carries 44 marks, and this section is composed. Question one, figure 1 1.1 shows two generalized cells F and G of living organism. So we have two cells, cell F and cell G. Then question A, Loma numeral 1, identify the part labeled H, then Loma numeral 2, how does part H differ from I? So the first thing that we need to notice is the difference in the appearance of these cells. So the difference themselves should tell us which cell are we dealing with. So there are two types of cells which are the animal and the plant cells. So we need to know the distinguishing features between these two types of cell. So the first thing that we need to take note is the size and shape. So animal cells are generally smaller than plant cells. Then in terms of the outer space, you notice that animal cells do not have cell walls or a cell or but they have what is known as a cell membrane. So the plant cells, they have cell or composed of cellulose as well as cell membrane. So when you look at the two, the cell O is found in cell G. So cell G must be a plant cell. So this is a plant cell. Then F is an animal cell because it does not have this wall, which is the cell Oh, so this is animal cell. So this is the first thing. So you need to distinguish these two. So once we distinguish these two, then it becomes easier. So let us start by identifying the parts. So the parts labeled, then when you know the parts, then you can easily answer all the questions with easy. So let us start with F. So the outer part of F is known as a cell membrane, like here I just talked about. So this is cell membrane, which is an H. That's the outer part of the animal cell. Then, what is the inner part? So this inner part is the nucleus. So nucleus is found in both animal cell and the plant cell. So this is also nuclear. So I'll just focus on the key parts. Then what is in I? I is the outer space, which is in the cell O. Then we have J. What is J? J is the central vacuole. Central vacuole. So, once you know these parts, the next thing that you need to ask yourself is the functions. Then we've got this liquid inside, these white spots, this is uh, what is known as a cytoplasm. So you need to know these parts and also know the function. So you need to know what are the functions of each of these parts. Once you know the functions, then you become comfortable and you can easily face the exams without any difficulties. So, question A, identify the part labeled H. We've already identified it to be the cell membrane. So this should be easier, cell membrane. Then, Loma number 2, how does part H differ from I? So, H is cell membrane, then I is cell 
own. So what's the difference? So the difference comes in in terms of um, permeability. So H is selectively permeable, then I is fully permeable. Remember, the cell membrane acts as a barrier, keeping the cell constraints in and unwanted substances out of the cell. Then, similarly, you have the cell ohm that is found in the plant cell. So, this also acts similarly to the functions of the cell membrane, except that the cell all provides structural support and protection to the cell. So, like I said, you have to be concise and straight. So, what we need to say is H is selectively permeable while I is fully permeable. Once you do that, you are good to go. Next, Loma numeral 3, explain the function of structure labeled J. So now we have identified what J is. So J is central vacuum. That's J. So the function of the central vacuole is to store water and maintain tagal pressure in a plant cell. So the main function is storage of water. Storage of, of water. If you want to make it more clear, you say and maintaining maintaining Tago pressure, but storage of water should be sufficient to give you that one mark. To which group of living organism does cell F belong? So, cell F, where we identified this, should be an animal cell. Remember, I gave the reason already by explaining to you the differences between these two cells and how you tell the differences. We go to question B. Figure 1.2 shows the cell organization levels in multicellular organism. So we are starting from the bottom where we have the smallest unit of the cell, which is the organelles. Organelles are cellular components that perform specific functions within the cell. So these, they cellular component so these are cellular component within specific function so these are specific functions then we have k from k then we move to tissues so tissues are group of cells that work together and have a similar structure and the function so because tissues are group of cells meaning k should be a cell or cells so what are cells cells are the basic fundamental unit of life so these basic fundamental units of life so you need to take note of these key points units of life then we have m from m we go to system so again, if you understand what is a system, because these units are increasing as you are going up. So we end up to the organism. So before system, we need to have something. Now, what is a system? A system is a group of interacting or interrelated elements that act according to a set of rules to form a unified wall. So between tissues and system, we have the organ so this is an organ m and what is an organ an organ is a self-contained group of tissues that perform a specific function in the body that could be the plant or animal 
then of course we have the system then we have organism organism which is an organization referring to a living thing that has an organized structure which has an organized structure so organism uh, refers to a living thing that has an organized structure that is what is known as an organism then let us now look at the question from section b identify the parts labeled in k and m so k we have identified it to be the cell then m the organ so this is in cell then this is in organ so question b loma numero 2 state the level of cell organization at which muscles would be found so the key word is in muscles where can we find the muscles so muscles are found in tissues so the definition of a tissue is a group of cells that work together and have similar structure and the function so the four types of tissues in a human body are the muscle epithelial connective and the nervous tissue so the muscles are found in tissues which is in in this case it will be tissue this is in the level tissues then loma numero 3 give one example of a system in plants and in animals so we need to give examples of systems so when you're dealing with plants they are two major organ systems in plants so these are shoot system which is in consist of leaves stems flowers and the fruits and this is the shoot system then number two we have the root system so the root system supports the plants and absorbs water and the minerals usually this is done from underground so this anchors the plant while absorbing water and minerals from the soil and then this is the root system so you can give n of these two you get that one mark then for animals there are about systems so i'm going to list them then you have one the splitter system you can choose just one then number two you have circulatory system then three you have the nervous system then number four you have the endocrine system then i said there are seven so number five so number five you have digestive which is for digestion then number six you have the excretory system so now this is the excretion so excretory system then number seven you have reproductive system so the names are very clear so you can just choose any so once you choose any then you should be fine to get that one mark just choose one of these so thank you for joining me in this episode so please join me in the next episode as we look at question two in detail